She is a gifted educator, prose writer, and poet. Her academic credentials make my head spin a little bit. <laughs> they, they include a triple major interdisciplinary set of classics, ancient Greek, comparative religion, and Holocaust studies. She lived and studied in Thessaloniki, Greece for a year, and during that time she researched and wrote an undergraduate honors thesis on the history of the Jews in Salonika. The gravestones of those Jews paved the sidewalks of the city. She received an MFA at Goddard College in writing, and her degree was in poetry, prose, and playwriting, and she has since been published and recognized by her peers. But she's more than an accomplished academic. She's a leader. Jessamine's the founding director of the new International Quest Writers Conference, and she was the founder, creator, and editor-in-chief of the literary and arts journal Tupelo Quarterly. And she's way more than that. <laughs> I know, I'm going to embarrass her terribly. <laughs> so part of what endears Jessamine to me is she's working to make the world better in very tangible ways. While she was an undergrad, she was weaving together the strands of story and history as a cultural preservation. She worked as a volunteer at a rape crisis center. Uh, doing community education and outreach. Her work in crisis counseling, domestic violence shelter work, and HIV counseling and testing served as a gateway to her eventual directorship of the public health community education program at Every Woman's Center at UMass Amherst. This work, paired with her background in storytelling as an integral feature of human survival, led her to recognize social justice as a central element of public health in the broadest cultural sense. So, please, join me in extending a warm Texas welcome to Jessamine Smith. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lori. That's really, that's, that's just lovely. Um, I was joking with Lori that I could show my students how it's done, if we have video evidence of that. <laughs> how to make your author blush. <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you here tonight. and. Uh...